Hi, my name is Susan Greg Gilmore, and some of you may know that I write fiction, and you may or may not know that I also work in a wine store. So I thought it might be kind of fun on Friday afternoons when our thoughts are turning to the weekend for me to pair a great book with a great bottle of wine. And so here's the thing though, every bottle that I recommend is going to be $15 or less because I want to be sure that you have plenty of money in your pocket to head down to your local independent bookseller and buy a great book. So today in the South, it is absolutely gorgeous. And I live in Chattanooga, Tennessee. And here the sky is just blue and clear and the weekend is going to be perfect and temperatures are going to be from 70s to mid 80s. So when the weather starts turning a little bit warmer like that, I definitely turn to lighter styled wines. And I thought this weekend in particular would be perfect for a Chenin Blanc. And um, I also know that I'm going to be outside and hiking a lot, so I'm probably not going to have as much time at home to read. So I wanted to find a book that would be a little bit more fast-paced, uh, perhaps a little bit lighter style, but still have a lot of meat on the bones. So what I've chosen for you uh, is a book for a book, um, Mimi Malloy at Last by Julia McDonald. It's her first book in 20 years. And I like it because it's about a woman, well, more my age, maybe maybe a little bit older. And she lives in Boston in the Quincy neighborhood. And she's from a big Irish Catholic family and has six daughters of her own. And Mimi is starting to exhibit some signs of memory loss. So her children, particularly one, is very concerned about her still living on her own. But Mimi is determined to stay in her apartment as long as she can. I mean, she loves nothing more in the evening than sitting down, smoking a cigarette, listening to Sinatra, and having a Manhattan. And I don't think she's ready to let any of that go. So, um, and it's also really lovely because she's starting to develop this romance with the um, man who manages the, the building, who is also a widow. So to see them develop the sweet romance later in life is, is a lot of fun. But but what happens is Mimi comes across this locket that starts to take her to some very dark places in her childhood. She starts remembering this very, very dark part of her childhood. And um, But the beauty of it is that as she starts to recall all of these memories, it brings her much, 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 clo much closer to her children. And it frees her from this past that she's suppressed for so long. Um, so it's it's a really it's a at times a very whimsical, funny book, but yet there's still a lot of gut and meaning and meaning to it. Uh, it's got that meat on the bone. So I think it's a great spring um, summer read. And so what I thought would be nice to pair with it would be a bottle of Indaba Chenin Blanc. Um, this is from South Africa. You're going to get a lot of wonderful light cit citrus notes with it, but it has a nice finish, a little bit of a lingering finish and definitely some honey on those end notes. So I think the Indaba Chenin Blanc that should come in around $13 depending on where you buy it and where you live with uh, Mimi Malloy at last would be a great pairing for this beautiful weekend in April. See you next